I know this channel is focused around game reviews and my thoughts on video games and I do have a lot of reviews planned out already, but I saw this video a few days ago and it really caught my eye. Plus, I really want to make another video on Siege. Dunmore Frost is someone I have followed for a while now and I really do enjoy his content. He's one of the reasons why I made this channel in the first place and I do agree with most of his views. So when I saw the title Rainbow Six Siege has a big problem, I was curious. Siege has consumed my life for the last 3 months and it's the main reason why I haven't uploaded in a while. I've never had this much fun in an online game and it's the only game I clocked in more than 500 hours in without a problem. I find the game to be almost perfect, so when I saw the title I wondered could there be something I've missed in this game that's almost perfect in my eyes? Just a heads up, this video is gonna be completely different from everything else I've made, because I don't know how to address this video without breaking it down piece by piece, so it's gonna look something like a commentary video. Yay! Also, I won't be addressing every single point he makes in the video because I will be repeating myself way too many times. I don't play Rainbow Six Siege though, even though I recognize how fantastic the game is. And that reason is incredibly simple. It's the most punishing and inaccessible shooter on the market. Hearing that statement, I'm sure many veteran Siege players out there watching this video will pause it to downvote the video, but just hear me out. Okay, I'll hear you out, maybe he really does have a valid point here, although I don't agree at the slightest. And I didn't dislike the video right away, I disliked it after watching the whole video. This is one of the easiest games to jump into, yet one of the hardest to get into. I really don't understand what this is supposed to mean, is it hard to master the game or is it just hard to continue playing? The answer for the first question is yes. Yes, it is hard to master Siege, but that's not a bad thing like he's making it out to be. For the second one, uh, no, it's not hard to continue playing Siege. Ubisoft has most definitely done a lot to make it easier for players to get into Siege, jump into a match and start playing. They've lowered the entry fee, they've given multiple options for buying the game, and there's even a bargain bin starter edition for the lowriders out there. You do make a valid point, Ubisoft has done in my opinion a fantastic job in getting people to play the game with the starter edition. Because now with the starter edition you get all 20 operators at the start and all attachments are instantly unlocked. So buying the game now is really a bargain. So in that degree, Siege is incredibly accessible now to any new player. But that's not why people quit Rainbow Six Siege. I'm sorry, who out of these 27 million players has quit? Now this is the point of the video where I really start to get pissed off. He has all the rights to not like the game. Everyone does. This game is not gonna be for everyone. But no game really is. But to lie about it to your audience is really annoying. Siege is the most rewarding game I have played in a long time. The feeling you get when you start the game the first time is a reward of itself. When you get into those 1v1 situations or when the timer is running out, you get that adrenaline rush and clutching those situations is simply so satisfying. And if you're talking about money to buy new operators, it really doesn't take that long with all the weekly and daily bonuses. I know because I have almost all of the operators unlocked and I haven't bought a season pass or any of the operators with real money, except one. And hey, you can always go into terrorist hunt for farming. And you're also rewarded with alpha packs. But if you have the first 20 operators unlocked, you really don't need anyone else unless you really want to play as them. Even after a hundred hours of playing this game, I'll get back to this bit later because oh boy, it's a good one. I do not feel competent to do anything of value against a decent team of operators. It's just that hard to excel at siege unless you're some sort of first person shooting demigod or you have a lot of time to train up. If you have a hard time playing the game, there's more than plenty of YouTubers you can watch that will help you get better. And you will have a hard time if you play the game like you would Battlefield or COD, which you are clearly doing from the footage you've provided. Becoming a good Siege player requires so many things. Excelling at patience, aiming, map knowledge, player knowledge, character knowledge, weapon spacing, listening, reacting, being proactive, being aggressive. Yes. There's a lot of stuff you need to pay attention to in Siege. Why are you complaining? How is this a bad thing? You won't play this game while having your feet up, watching meme compilations and beating the monkey cause you'll lose. That doesn't mean you can't relax in Siege and can goof around. You can, just not when you start out. Just like every other game. And develop counterplays against the endless combinations of operators that you're gonna be playing against. 
each operator has to be learned to fight as and against. I couldn't counter this argument because I had the game since day one, so I really couldn't know if people had trouble understanding the operators. So I asked my best friend who bought the starter edition in the middle of action when Velvet Shell came out and is now around level 80 so pretty deep into the game. He says he had no trouble learning what every operator does and how to counter them. Especially as he says because the operators are so unique. If you have trouble learning operators, lock them up or find a buddy who can help you. And yes, you will be dying in this game a lot as you mentioned, especially when you start out, but unlike other games, even if you die, you can still learn new tricks. So often the result is players jumping into games, dying early, and thus not developing into better players. That's just a big fat lie. Sure, sometimes you'll die a few seconds after spawning because of spawn peekers, but that doesn't happen every single round, and there are a few common peeking spots on every single map that you will learn quickly. Also, you said that because you die, you can't get better. How is that true? I mentioned in my last stage video that no matter if you're dead or alive, you're still a valuable asset to your team. Watch cams, learn the names of rooms, learn how to listen, watch what your team is doing right, what you're doing wrong, so on and so on. You don't have to be alive to get better in Siege. Sure, it helps, but there's a lot of other ways to get better. Your hands, eyes and ears will pick up on where to be, where enemies will be, how the best way to play the game is, the balance of weapons, etc. It's valuable data that people pick up while being active in a game, making them better players over time, and it's just so hard to do this in Rainbow Six Siege. All of what you just said is possible when you're dead. I simply don't have the time, the patience, or the stomach for getting my ass beat all the while doing it. And that's fine, this game is not for you. You'll like more casual FPS experiences, and that's fine, different strokes for different folks. But don't make a video complaining about the game when you don't understand it, don't know how to play it, and it's just not for you. Most people also love playing video games when they're relatively new, as the playing fields are even and everyone is experiencing the game together as a new product at more or less the same rate as well. Most people just know what to play and how to beat you, and you can't really replicate the experience of a multiplayer match in any offline or PvE mode. Deciding what to do, where to be, and how to play when the clock ticks down is a guessing game for the new player. Yes, there's stuff to learn. Grow up there and stop bitching. As I've already stated, there's so many ways you can learn how to play this game. You don't have to play it to learn. If you have a hard time learning the maps, or if you just want to practice, go into Terrorist Hunt. Rainbow Six Siege 2 has also not been announced, and this is an indication that the vanilla game will continue to be added to in the future, compounding the issue further. The devs have stated that they want to have 100 operators in the span of the next 10 years so they aren't planning a siege too. How is that a bad thing? We're constantly complaining how publishers are pumping games out of their ass every single year and when they decide to stick to this one game, that's a problem. I don't think they would make someone grind for all 100 operators. They're either going to give a special edition or an add-on or just lower the price of the op <sighs> or just lower the price of the operators. And since all the ops are unique, it's really not hard to learn them. All in all, you're complaining because the game is too hard for you. Everything you've mentioned as a problem is a reason why this game is so loved. For anyone out there who's just starting the game and you're having problems, there's so many ways for you to get better. You can always get a buddy or find someone online in the Stitch community. There's apps for that like Gamerlink or even Reddit. There's a ton of YouTubers who do amazing tutorials for beginners and more advanced players. There is a learning curve in Siege and that's not a problem. This game is loved and cherished for all the right reasons that he has a problem with. Last thing I want to cover is this. You do not have 100 hours in this game. I don't know why you're lying about that, and that's the biggest thing that pisses me off. You cannot make a video on this game after playing only 10 hours. That's literally 20 matches. And how do you know he doesn't have 100 hours? Well, who plays Thatcher with a shotgun on attack and has no skins or attachments after playing 100 hours? Who just runs around without ADSing? Who doesn't plant the diffuser at the door and doesn't know how to plant the diffuser? Who's level 19 after 100 hours? And if that's not enough proof, here's some more. Even after 100 hours of playing this game, I do not feel competent to do anything of value against a decent team of operators. It's just that hard to excel at Siege unless you're some sort of first person shooting demigod or you have a lot of time to train up.
Becoming a good siege player requires so many things. So many things.